Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to take you guys through the process of me basically moving my whole collection from one room into another. It was a long process. Um, in this video, it's going to seem like it was really quick, but it actually took weeks for me to move all of this stuff. And um, on my first channel, I already covered how I went about moving all of my manga and my Blu-rays. Uh, in this video here on this second channel, you guys know this is all about figures. So I'm going to show you guys how it went with me moving all of my statues and figures, which are very heavy. So it was a lot of work and I hope you guys enjoy this. So, so let's go back a few weeks and I'll walk you guys through the whole process. All right, guys, welcome back. This should be the last day of moving everything out of this room. Uh, maybe not so much reorganizing downstairs. That's probably going to take a few weeks. But yeah, today we're going to move all of these statues. We're going to take them off of the shelves, probably put them around the floor here. Then I'm going to move the Ikea drawers downstairs and I'll take the statues downstairs one by one. So that's the plan. That's all we have here on this wall. We have some stuff on the floor that I also need to move. We got this table and this statue right here. One of my favorites, it's a beautiful statue right here. I really like this one. This one was in one of the Ikea drawers. Um, and then over here, we also just have my my consoles, my 4K Blu-ray player, little cart, and yeah, that should be it. So, so let's get started. All right, so I decided to start off with the shelf on the left. What I'm gonna be doing is basically just removing all of the figures and taking the shelves one by one downstairs. Um, and I will say after having moved some Blu-rays, manga and figures, um, I have to say that figures are actually the easiest thing to move just because there's not as many. Uh, when it comes to manga, there was, oh my God, it was such a pain to take off all of the manga from the shelf and then go back, put them on the floor somewhere while I move the shelves downstairs and then, and then go back and bring all of the manga downstairs. I don't know, it was just a pain. Uh, figures, these statues in particular, there's only a few per shelf. It was easy to take them all off the shelf. Uh, these shelves were also not very heavy. So yeah, that's kind of my takeaway from this experience. Uh, figures, while still a pain, not as bad as manga and Blu-rays. And here's just a summary of all the figures that I took off from that first shelf. All right, so that was it for the second shelf. I'm gonna be doing this a lot where, uh, cause every time I took off all the figures from each shelf, I always went around and did a 360 of the room uh, just to see what the figures looked like all over the floor. And some figures even made it into the restroom. All right, now before I move this guy, I just quickly wanted to talk about the LEDs because I do get a lot of questions about this. And the one that I use are these right here. Um, I found these on Amazon, so I'll put a link down below. It won't be an affiliate link or anything, but yeah, just wanted to show you guys what I particularly use. I did get these on like Amazon Prime Day or something. I bought like a bunch of them. I still have some over there in that corner. Uh, so right now they're a little bit more expensive. They're like 35 maybe. I got them for 25 each if I'm not mistaken, but yeah, let me show you how I have it hooked up over here. See, you can't really see any wires from the front, even from like the sides. And anytime I had it on display, I honestly never saw the wires. But if I do close up on this, 
you do see that wire right there. That's probably the most visible wire that I do sometimes see just because I guess I should have probably taped it right here. That, that would probably fix it to be honest, but going underneath. So here's the LED, super efficient in my opinion. All I did is just put it through this hole. It actually fits perfectly through this hole on the Ikea brawer. I don't even have tape or anything behind it. It just kind of lays, lays there and it works. So that's the way I have it. And I do only put one LED strip and I think it puts out enough light, especially in the night. I think it looks really great. So yeah, just one LED bar and that's good. And then across this side, I pretty much just use scotch tape and, and I just tape this, uh, this wire all along this edge right here. So over here, it does kind of wrap around this way, but when you put another shelf next to it, it's no longer visible. And then again, just goes under here and here's the other LED strip. Same thing as up there, so I won't be showing that anymore. I'll just show you guys pretty much my horrible tape job right here, but it works like scotch tape right there. It works, just use scotch tape and same thing all the way down. And then the bottom shelf is probably the most messy, but even this one doesn't look, you can't ever see it. So here is where all the wires meet up. So I just kind of folded up the excess wire, taped it up. Um, you can't even see it. Uh, this is the adapter. Like this is where all of the lights plug into. And this is actually taped. Um, I believe it does come with its own adhesive. So I just took it off and I taped it up against this part right here. And that's pretty much it. It goes down and the wire, I usually wrap it underneath here and I take it all the way to the back and then it's just plugged in back there. Uh, so that's what I use. I think it actually works very well, especially for the Ikea brawers, just because of the, um, this thing right here, the LED strip fitting perfectly through those holes there. So yeah, just wanted to show that off. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move it. I'm probably gonna keep the LEDs on there as I move it. Oh, although I will say one tip that would probably make this better is if I would have probably spray painted this tape black before I actually put it up. Um, I might do that for any of the future LEDs that I that attach to my IKEA drawers. I already lost count on what day we're in, but today's the last day, I think, for moving everything out of that room. I'm just gonna bring all of the statues in here. I'm gonna, probably gonna put them around the floor. I don't wanna put statues in this or this other shelf yet, uh, because I do wanna put lights on it. I actually do also wanna figure out what I wanna do with all of the plugs. So I'm probably not gonna do that for this video. That will be on a future video. But for now, just to clear out that room, I'm gonna bring all of the statues in here and I think that will be it for this video. So unfortunately, you guys won't see me uh, rearrange everything in this video, but possibly in the future, I'll show you guys how it is that I rearranged everything. I just wanted to show you guys the whole moving process because it is a process. It definitely took me like almost a week. I think, like I said, this is already day five, but technically I was starting before then. So I probably took like a week in total, like just moving everything down. It is a lot of work. Uh, so let's get to it. Let me go bring the statues and I'll show you a few things that I'm going to do with them upstairs. Before bringing down all my statues, I decided to dust down the shelves because they were pretty dusty. Uh, interestingly enough though, my statues didn't have too much dust, but uh, the shelves were definitely the worst. So I had to clean those up before bringing my figures. Some of the figures do, do have a little bit of dust on them so i'm just gonna quickly grab some of the ones that i see have a lot of dust on them and i usually use this to just some blow some air and kind of brush off some of that dust so i'm literally just gonna do this to all of my figures so yeah So that was pretty much it. Um, I noticed that the PVCs definitely attracted more uh, dust than my statues, my resin statues. So the only resins that really had dust were my uh, LC Studios Attack on Titan. All of these that you guys see on the floor, 
none of them really had any dust so i didn't see any need to dust these so now i'm basically just moving them one by one downstairs so, so i'll let you guys see this time lapse and i'll catch you guys downstairs oh wait before i go i was thinking about taking this one in one piece downstairs but i was like nah i can't do that so i decided to take off the titans and i took the pieces down one by one and it was honestly very light when you did it that way the individual pieces aren't that heavy um, but when you put them together that is definitely the heaviest statue i think i have in my collection right now so now i'll catch you guys downstairs So before I move the last statue, here's the room, pretty much empty now. Nothing on the floor, nothing on the walls, except for this uh, TV mount, just because we are gonna put another TV there for the guests that are gonna be staying in this room. Um, but yeah, I saved this one for last, just because if you guys remember, those of you who have been with my channel for a while, this guy did have a break on his foot right there and I glued it, but I don't think it held for too long. And now he does, he does wobble a little. So this is the one statue that I can't take apart to move. So I'm gonna have to move him fully assembled and this thing is heavy. So this is gonna be the hardest statue to move, especially going down the stairs and everything. So wish me luck. Hopefully nothing does fall down or break as I'm going down the stairs, which by the way, I did fall off the stairs once. Thankfully I was holding shelves and not any of my resin statues, but I did kind of hurt myself a little bit, but I'm fine now. So yeah. Hopefully I don't drop this guy. All right, so I'm done moving everything out of this room. Now all we have left is this empty, sad room. Um, like I said at some point in the video, it was pretty sad just because I really liked this area. I thought it was a really nice place to have my office, but now I'm moving into a bigger room, so I should have more space to put more statues and more manga. So now it's time to become truly elite and build a massive collection. All right, guys, so here's an overall view of the whole shelf. Pretty much the exact same setup as upstairs. Um, I know at some point in the video I said that I wasn't going to put statues into these two shelves, um, but weeks passed and these statues were just laying on the floor and i wanted to record more videos i wasn't recording many videos during that time that i had all my statues on the floor so i decided to just say screw it i'm gonna go ahead and display all my statues so i did so and this is basically what i came up with so uh in the middle i have basically all of my attack on titan love the way that that looks i would have loved to have my hunter hunter collection in the middle just because i love that netro statue but the Attack on Titan statue only fits in this shelf because this one is the 33 inch wide, whereas these two on the left and right are 25 inches wide. So I have to put my Attack on Titan there. And unfortunately, my Hunter Hunter does go over here to the right, but I still think it looks cool. Uh, as you guys can see, I had to sort of elevate this shelf because that thing is massive. It's, it's taller than Attack on Titan, but Attack on Titan is wider. So this shelf here on the right is going to be all Hunter Hunter. Right now, there are just some placeholders. I have my Mitsuri statues there and I also have another Demon Slayer statue right here of Giyu which is again just a placeholder until I get my Figurama Ichigo versus Ulkiora statue unboxed and put in there that way I'll have all Figurama here in the center I think that's going to be awesome so it's going to be Bleach, Attack on Titan and Hunter x Hunter and if you're wondering where all my Naruto statues went, I actually have a new display for that upstairs. So at one point I will show you guys that display, but I do have a few extra statues up here. So I love the way that Obito and Madara look here. So I think I'm gonna keep those there. They actually look really cool up there on top. 
And of course, the figure class Broly is also an, an awesome statue. I love that one. So I put those up there. Uh, now I just have these extra spots here. I don't know what I want to do. I'm thinking, I don't know if I want to do Demon Slayer, Demon Slayer on the sides because I do have quite a few Demon Slayers coming and it might make sense to make these Demon Slayer uh, cases. But right now I'm undecided. Um, this guy right here used to go in there. Uh, that's why I have the Bleach manga in there. And this guy was, it looked really cool in there. So who knows? I'll figure it out as I unbox my statues. All I know is that right now, I'm really happy with the way my collection is turning out. And I like the fact that I do have space for future statues here. So know what you guys think of the collection. If you guys want to see some more of my videos, check out these videos over here to the right. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thank you.